This video series explains IBM Z Performance and Capacity Analytics, IZPCA. I'm Graham Davis, the global leader of IZPCA pre-sales and implementation at 21CS. And today's topic is creating your own Cognos reports and modifying the SQL. Cognos is an enterprise reporting engine for IZPCA and is provided free of charge through a limited use license that is bundled with IZPCA. It is the fully functional version of the product and has a lot of its own capability. Let's take a look at how you can make a copy of an existing report and modify the underlying SQL. The following report is just an example and the same process throughout this video can be applied to any of the IZPCA Cognos reports. So let's start by selecting the report that you want to modify. You will notice the ribbon bar at the top of the screen. The disk icon is for saving the report. You can click on the downward arrow and save a new version with a new name to the My Content folder. This will add a new report into that folder where you can then navigate to it at time. Now that you're working with the new report you saved, you can now edit this report. This is achieved by selecting reports below the ribbon bar. This will launch the edit tool that would allow you to modify the report. Firstly, you will need to display the properties of the report. To do this, click on the properties icon on the top right of the screen. Next, select the generated SQL in the list of items and hover until you see the three dots. Select the three dots to open the generated SQL dialog. You can move this and expand the window as needed. You can now see the SQL that is executed for this report. The data items used in the SQL are listed in the data items window. You can select these items to review their contents, such as an expression. To modify the report, we recommend you use the drag and drop capability of Cognos. You can edit the SQL directly, but there may be some issues with the format types if attempting this manually. In this example, we're going to insert the period name into the report and then display the changed SQL. From the navigation bar on the left, click the navigation panel icon. This will display all the insertable objects for the report. Now, navigate and view the query subjects. In this example, it's ZOS Performance Management and System Statistics. The query subject we want is the MBS PM system hourly. Expanding this will display all the possible additional query items that can be added to the report. Here, we select the period name and drag and drop to the report data items. Now, when we go back to the generated SQL, we can now see the additional SQL statements for the period name. Now we've captured that data, we want to be able to display it in the new Cognos report. To do this, select the report drop down arrow at the top and then report detail. This displays the existing layout of the report. Select the data items icon below the text insertable icons. You can now drag and drop the data item period name where you wish to insert it in the report. In this case, it's a new column in the table data. Now, select the period name column and the group ungroup icon from the displayed ribbon to ungroup the column. Now we're ready to review the report. Select the pencil icon and then submit the report. This will now display the newly modified report. Should you require any further information, please refer to the links below or contact your IBM representative. Thanks for watching this installment of IZPCA short video series.